going on YouTube back again here at KO Zone down in Miami, Florida. Uh, today we're doing a, I'm doing a special segment on my new weighted vest that just came out uh, recently. Um, I'm putting it through a whole training where I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of different um, jumping and running and all these different types of stuff just to, to show the durability of the vest um, and to show that it doesn't bounce around. So before uh, actually I finished the vest, I did a lot of testing on the actual prototype and uh, it came out really good. So um, today is just pretty much putting everything on air uh, so you guys can see it and you can see the value of it and uh, how good it is. And I tried my best to, to keep it at a very good competitive price with some of the other guys like Rogue and 511 and stuff. So hopefully um, uh, you guys like it. And uh, if you want one, you can always go to my website and uh, grab one. Uh, I'll put the link at the end of the video. Uh, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. All right, guys, so this is my weighted vest, all right? Signature weighted vest through XT Fit Official. Um, this is my personal vest, all right? So it's, it's used up a lot, all right? Uh, it's, obviously, you're not gonna get a used vest. It's, you're gonna get a brand new vest, uh, but this one has been used a lot. I've, I've been training with this one for the last couple months. Uh, I want you guys to take a quick look at it and see it. What a lot of the other vests, what you don't see, what the difference between mine and a lot of the other vests are, the other vests only have maybe like one strap and they have a clip or something like that. I wanted to make something nice and snug so when you jump up and down, it doesn't bounce all over the place. So I made a double uh, Velcro as you can see here. Velcro here, Velcro here, all right? And it has your side, your side pieces that you can tighten it or make it looser however you want, okay? The plates, the, the vest comes in two, in pretty much 10 pounds and 20 pounds. So these are the plates that you're gonna be you're gonna be getting with the vest, okay? Both of these plates go into the bottom, just like that. And then you bring in this Velcro piece and it goes in under. You put it under the actual plate itself, okay? And you stick it on there and it keeps it nice and snug in there, okay? All right, next piece that I wanted to talk about are the shoulder pads, okay? It comes with a shoulder pad, as you can see here, for comfort, all right? And these pieces come off, all right? And you can, depending on how tall you are or how short you are, you can adjust the strap on it and then replace it back over, just like so, okay? We also made a, a Velcro piece here on the top. If you have any patches or whatever of any companies that you wanna represent, uh, any sponsors, anything like that, you can go ahead and put them there. You will also be getting an RW patch, a real world tactical patch with each vest. All right, guys, so uh, today is, is pretty much gonna be kind of just a lot of different circuit training that I'm gonna be doing. There is no reasoning behind it. There's no um, uh, performance aspect, meaning I'm working this type, of, uh, this type of performance or that type of performance. It's just gonna be a little bit of everything, okay? Uh, the main reason I'm doing that is just so you see the versatility of the vest and how it, uh, how it adjusts to my body when I do all these different things. Uh, you see the movement of, you know, that it doesn't go up and down and all these different, you know, all these different elements that the, the vest uh, can put up with. That's all it is today. So I don't want you guys to be like, oh, what's the reason you did that? Or what's the reason I did that? Just doing a whole bunch of different um, types of trainings, um, jumping, throwing tires, hammers, kneeing, I'm doing, just doing a whole bunch of different things. So you guys see how, uh, how the vest puts up with everything and how it is uh, snug on your body. I just finished my, uh, I believe my fourth or fifth round on that drill. The drill's about a good 45 seconds or so, do the four to six. Uh, one, two, three, four, six tire flips, 12 jumps with 20 pound vest on and a resistance band of 40 pounds or so resistance on you. So uh, as you saw the vest held up good, didn't jump around. Stay close to my body, nice and snug. Uh, and uh, it was a good, good circuit. 
So uh, my next um, drill is going to be a uh, sledgehammer hitting the tire drill uh, with the weighted vest on and uh, the resistance band. Um, it makes it a little bit harder, obviously, with the weighted vest because I'm 20 pounds heavier. That puts me at about 265 pounds. I'm 245 right now. The resistance band also pulls back on your uh, hips, so you have to kind of force yourself to throw your hips a little bit harder, uh, building some hip, hip thrusting, explosive hip, thr hip thrusting movement um, in it. And, uh, and then we're gonna be go coming back and then going forward uh, after every uh, four to six hits. So do that drill probably uh, maybe like four to five times, rest for about 20 or 30 seconds, four to five times, rest about 30 seconds, so on and so forth to about three to five uh, drills. Uh, I would say three to five rounds of, of whatever you're capable of doing. Uh, you could do up to seven rounds, eight rounds, I don't know, as many as you want, but uh, I usually keep everything between five to seven rounds, uh, maybe like one or two warm up and then five uh, all out high intensity. The hammer or the mace, okay, is also 30 pounds. It's my signature mace. So you can see the grip is a lot thicker, um, works on your grip as well and all that. So uh, every, little, every little bit helps when you're doing these high intensity type uh, drills. All these high intensity drills that I do, I try to make myself very, very uncomfortable while doing them and try to make all the elements a little bit harder so that when you're just working on the regular elements, it's very, very easy for you. So in a regular hammer, you know, you could do it three, four times as uh, many hits. Um, it's not a stick, not as heavy. Same thing with a vest. If you don't have a vest on, this would be easier. Okay, with a vest, it's a little bit harder. So. Doing um, the sledgehammer hitting or the mace striking, and um, did about four or five rounds of that. Uh, I think it was uh, five each each side, so ten total. And uh, the vest held up really, really good. Still nice and snug. Can't complain. It's doing well. So uh, on to the next um, drill. All right, guys. So the next drill is going to be a speed drill with resistance bands and obviously the weighted vest. Okay, it's going to be uh, pretty much focusing on lateral movement with resistance, seeing how fast I can go, uh, changing directions, obviously, and uh, acceleration, deceleration in those aspects, and then obviously coordination and agility uh, with the tire in the middle, where I'm gonna be um, up and down with my feet. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. See uh, see what I, how fast I can get with uh, an extra 20 pounds in the resistance band. Right, guys so that pretty much concludes our training session for today uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, just some of the basics some of the, some simple stuff speed explosion resistance training with the weight the weighted vest um, uh, as you can see some of the questions I like to go over uh, that I get a lot of questions about my shoes uh, you can see them right here these are your innervates okay um, F light 260s these are the ones that I use um, you can get them they're great shoes uh, they last a very very long time and I do a lot of stuff on concrete so um, also, these are my dry fit shirts from Gasp. So the shorts that I wear from Gasp as well. And, um, and now you know about my weighted vest right here. See it? Okay, from XD Fit Official. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions about the weighted vest, don't uh, hesitate to comment and ask, whatever. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe, uh, comment, let me know what you thought. On to the next one.